Hello, welcome back. Um, so what I want to do now is show you a few different really useful tools. The first one that we're going to look at is called Firebug, okay? And this is a Firefox add-on which adds some fantastic functionality to your Firefox browser. Um, as you can see right here, it says inspect HTML and modify style and layout in real time. Okay, so all you do is you come over here and you click on install Firebug. And as you can see that it's uh, showing various releases right here. If your Firefox is up to date, you can just go ahead and download this uh, most recent version right here. Okay, and so if I click download, it brings me to this page here and you can see where it says add to Firefox. And you just click on this and it will add this add-on to your Firefox browser. Now I've already done that, I already have Firebug and all it will do is put this little bug up here in the corner, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to getfirebug.com now. Okay, so here we are. Now if I click on this, it's gonna open up Fire, uh, Firebug. We can also just hover our mouse anywhere on the screen and right click and inspect with Firebug. Okay. So there we go. Um, here's Firebug. So what I've done is I've opened up the source code for this uh, particular web page here, the Firebug web page. And as you can see, what I did is I hovered over this uh, web development evolve text and it showed up right down here. And you can see that um, it's wrapped in an H2 heading. Okay. And there we go, web development evolved. Now, just like it says right here, inspect HTML and modify style and layout in real time. What does that mean? Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Um, see how it says web development evolved right here? I'm gonna go ahead and just type in hello world right there. Okay, and see how it just popped up on the website right there? Just like that. Now, um, of course, this doesn't happen uh, all over the place. It only happens on your machine, okay? Just the code that your browser is rendering. Um, think about how chaotic the internet would be if we could just go in and change everybody's websites. Um, no problem, right? The internet would be even more chaotic than it already is. But um, this is a really useful tool. Now, if I refresh this page, my browser grabs that code again and reloads it and re-renders the website and of course no harm is done. Now it doesn't matter what you do in here. For example, I can actually just go in here and uh, start selecting elements and then just start deleting things. And the next thing you know, I've deleted everything on the web page. Okay, there you go, completely blank. Um, and of course if I refresh, it's back again, just like that. No harm done, okay? So that's why this tool is so powerful, is that you can go in and make changes everywhere. Um, if you have layout issues, if you just need this uh, text to drop down a little bit more, or you'd rather all your H2 headings were green instead of this dark gray color, these are where you make the changes. So let's go ahead and inspect this H2 again. Okay, so web development evolved, wrapped in an H2. So here's the HTML, and as I hover around, you can see the elements are highlighting on the page, okay? Now I've clicked on this H2, and if we come over here, here's our CSS, okay? We can see the H2 selector right here, okay? Now see how it says font size 2M? I can go ahead and change that. Let's change that to three, okay? See how it got bigger? Okay, easy enough, right? And the one of the most wonderful things about Firebug is that it actually shows you what style sheet this particular uh, selector is located at and what line even, line 299. So I can go to master.css, that style sheet, go to line 299, find this selector, and change this value right here of this property. I can also add more in here, okay? For example, if I come down right, let's see. So I just type in color colon uh, red semicolon just like that okay and um, there we go now it's red now as you can see it actually changed it to the hexadecimal number here when I typed in red okay it gave me that red color um, I'll show you how to work a little bit with hexadecimal numbers here in just a minute okay so now I know now see that I added that color in right here now I know that if I go to uh, master.css on line 299 I can find this h2 I can actually throw in this bit of code right here um, okay this uh, uh, property and value within this h2 selector and change the website okay and if I actually had access to firebugs master.css file I could change this and it would stick okay and of course right now it won't stick if I you know was to refresh the page it's back to how it was again okay no harm done okay so as you're um, working with your own websites you know um, this really comes into play when you download a template and maybe that template is okay but it's not exactly what you want this is how you start to identify 
what elements you want to change and how to change them and it gives you a nice testing environment and you can do a lot of experimenting here without actually damaging anything which is you know awesome <laughs> so anyway um, we're gonna go back to using firebug quite a bit here but I want to show you something else let's go ahead and open up Chrome okay so now I'm in Chrome okay and Chrome DevTools Chrome actually has a very similar tool, okay? If you're using Chrome, it's already built into Chrome, okay? And all I have to do is select, like, let's select this word groups here, okay? And see how, whoops, stop. Okay, let's uh, select this word groups here and uh, inspect element, okay? So just right click, inspect element. And a very similar tool pops up, right? Okay, so same thing here, okay? So it doesn't matter. For what we're doing, you can use Firefox or Chrome, no problem. Um, there's certain things I like more about each of them, and as you use them, you might just get into the workflow that you like. I really like how the color picker is built in in Chrome. For example, see this color right here? I can go ahead and just select that and change that to red, just like that. Okay, and see, now these are red. And now that I know, I can go to screen-docs.css and change this particular ID right here, okay? Um, and I can add more of whatever I'd like to on here. So anyway, um, Chrome Inspector. So I just wanted to show you that it doesn't matter which tool you're using, Firefox or, or which browser you're using, Firefox or Chrome, you have access to these tools either way. Um, let's see, what's another useful tool? Um, this one here, ColorZilla, okay? Now ColorZilla um, gave me this little plugin right here. And you know, if you just, you install this the same exact way you install Firebug. Um, you don't need this tool, but I really like using this tool. So anyway, it gives you another little plugin up here, just like, uh, or a little add-on, just like Firebug, okay? And if I click on that, you see how it um, gave me this little cross crosshair and everywhere I go it's highlighting these different elements it's picking out the different colors okay so for example if I come to this red right here and I click on it see how it says copy to clipboard okay and I'll go ahead and just paste right here so you can see the text if I paste now I have a hexadecimal number so I can pick out colors and then grab their hexadecimal number and then when I come back over here and I am experimenting with changing the colors in say Firebug um, for example right here I can actually enter in hex numbers that I have grabbed using ColorZilla um, for example here's a nice site right here it looks like colorlovers.com all these different wonderful color palettes right here and I can actually use my uh, ColorZilla and just come over here and grab that exact color and just copy it, okay? And just keep moving on, all right? And this becomes really useful for, um, you know, designing, you know, maybe you, let's say you really want this uh, H2 here to have the same exact color as the Firebug right here. Well, you'd come over here and select your ColorZilla and then pick out a color based off of the Firebug. Let's go ahead and just grab that color right there. Okay, so we've copied that to clipboard. Now, if I go back to my H2, two here right there that h2 okay and that's h2 let's go ahead and add in a color right here uh color and then we'll just paste in that color right there in semicolon so now it doesn't look so hot but now my h2s are all using a color based off of firebug right here okay and so i got a nice continuity going on here with my colors although it's kind of hard to read but for demonstration purposes hey there you go um so anyway that's firebug um, Colorzilla is a great little add-on too. I would go ahead and grab that, and then of course, if you're, whoops, then of course, um, you know, if you're partially using Chrome, um, you have the ability to just right-click and inspect element with Chrome, and a very similar tool opens up. Okay, uh, just a heads up here. I noticed that when I'm designing in um, Joomla. A lot of times I'll be messing around with a layout in Chrome. It's really important to get out of Chrome and recheck again with at least Firefox, you know, a couple other browsers to make sure that things are rendering properly. It's actually good to go through all of the major browsers with your website because you'll be surprised it might look just fine in Chrome and then you'll go into Firefox or IE and everything looks all crazy, okay? So that's a really good habit to get into. So um, anyway, now that we've looked at these tools, um, wonderful free tools that you can use, let's go ahead and jump back into Joomla.
So I just type in color colon uh, red semicolon.